Here in the studio, Megan Trainer will be talking about performing, parenting and partnering up with a Kardashian for her music video in just a moment. We'll see you soon. Uh, now then, it's been 10 years since her uh, hit amazing. song All About the Bass was first released. That 10 years has flown past. Crazy. Uh, sending our next guest skyrocketing, skyrocketing to global fame. And now she's back with a brand new album. Pop star Megan Trainer is here. But before we chat to her, let's take a look at some of her biggest hits. As you know, I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. You listen to me, you listen to me. Stop all that man's playing. No one's listening. My name is no, my sign is no, my number is no. You need to let it go. I gave you bass. Thrilled that, that Megan's here with us this morning. Lovely to see you this morning. Uh, we were talking while we were looking at that, that every Megan Trainor song is so identifiably Megan Trainor. <laughs> For sure. That style. Is that something mm -hmm. that you always wanted or you just... Yeah, just I think um, I didn't know if I would have that because I write in so many different genres mm. that when I first came out with the doo -op stuff, I was like, oh, am I trapped with the doo -op forever? But I've learned now over 10 years that it's like, the way I do it is I take old school sounds and I make it really modern and pop and that's what I love too. So it turned into the Megan Trainor sound. And I didn't know that till my last album, Taking It Back, where I had Made You Look. Mm -hmm. Like when that blew up, I was like, oh yeah, that's my sound. That like doo-wop, but like pop. And my dad says, that's the coolest thing about you is no, no, no matter where I go, I can tell, oh, that's Megan singing. Love For that. sure. And, and I was like, you oh, are. that's sick. That's so cool. <laughs> Instantly identifiable. It's, Thank you. It's insane. Cool. But you also write for other people, though, too. I do, yeah. So who else have you written for? I, I wrote for um, Rascal Flatts. Yeah. Who wrote some country. I wrote J-Lo. J-Lo. I wrote Ain't Your Mama, which is funny because now my song is like, I am your mother. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't and I yeah, am. Yeah. Um, and Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé, I have a song with him, you yeah. You wrote with the boob. Just iconic. Um, John Legend, I did his Christmas song. Oh. Um, How do you find, do you, I mean, because you have quick. such a fantastic, so identifiable, style, identifiable style, do you find it easy writing for other people? Uh, yeah, I, I, well, I, or fun, yeah. I'm really trying to write with Rita Ora. Tell her hi, love you. <laughs> um, I love um, all genres. Like I don't think I don't think I could write heavy metal, you know, or not yet. Not yet, but never say never. Yeah. So I just I love it. I just want to write a good song. I always say maybe the think best a, songs. A, a Megan Trainer Metallica mashup. That's got something so exciting there. Something's happening. It's That'd be do cool. It, right? <laughs> Um, the new album, Timeless, it's out yeah. now, but it's, like, really inspired by your family, isn't it? Because you've got two little boys. Yeah, once you have babies, you're like... Uh, I've always had a fear of death, but once you have babies, you're like, I need to live forever and ever and ever, <laughs> yes. and so do you. And so I, um, I always say, I'm going to biohack myself and figure out how to live forever. <laughs> and I wanted my music. I thought it was so cool, 10 years later, all about that bass is still, like, everyone's still dancing to it. I just did Capital Ball and everyone was singing every word. And I was like, I want all my songs to feel like that, especially on this album, Timeless. I want my grandkids to play it and be like, wow, that's still bops, you know? And um, I want to live like I'm timeless. I want to love like I'm timeless. A lot of these songs are happy, upbeat, loving, self-love anthems like I do. And then there's a beautiful big ballad called Timeless. And I hope it gets played at every wedding. Um, but it's also like my love song to my babies, like after, after I would write this song, my Riley boy would want to sing it with me after bath time every night. God. I'd wrap him up in a towel and he'd go, can we play Timeless? And we would rock and sing it. And I'm like sobbing. <laughs> I love how you call him Riley boy as well. Riley we've got, boy. We've got, actually got the new single, Whoops, which was actually about <laughs> a friendship, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, a big, it's, like, cheating it, song. And yeah. I had to be, I had to go right on TikTok and go, it's my not. husband didn't cheat, I didn't cheat. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like, it could be a friendship thing, but I thought it was more relatable to be like, uh -huh. that boy cheated, just you know? Just smashing up some furniture. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Watch out. You messed up.
video there, you look like you're absolutely owning it and smashing yeah. the place up without a problem. I've seen the behind the scenes. <laughs> That wasn't quite as simple to do, yeah, was it? No. You really yeah. struggled smashing this, things up. We had like one day to put this together and um, I was exhausted and it was right before this trip. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like, we don't have time to learn a whole choreo and get a bunch of dancers. Let's just have me breaking a bunch of stuff. And I was like, like one girl will be like really hot girl unfazed and one girl will be like, I hate you uh, and smashing stuff. And then I got to set and I couldn't do it. They were like, okay, go. And I was like, <laughs> I'm afraid! <laughs> they were like, throw it up, hit it at, right at us, right at the camera. I was like, that's an expensive camera. And I was like, what if it goes right in, like, I'm gonna hurt someone. It's, it's the, the mom jeans kicking. Literally, right? what is. is that what it is? Yeah. They're like, don't sure. you have anger? And I, I was like, oh, barely it. not. But then when you actually go for some of the, yeah. and then you miss as well. Yeah, so you go for the table and you I, miss the table I miss completely. It. And then I hit, hit your own my foot. ankle <laughs> with the bat. It was, I was like, this is chaos. But eventually I got into it. You see like, while I'm on the floor at that point doing snow angels in all the dirt, Nothing I was like, to, yeah. okay, I'm into it now. And I'm like squeezing, uh, screaming with the pillows. That's when I finally got into it. But you can understand why people are like questioning like about you and Daryl, because it's like, oh my goodness, oh, yeah. this is like a... I knew right away, I was like, we should say something early. <laughs> because you met on a blind date, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and that... we're like the most in love couple there is. So where is he? Who... He's here. He's here somewhere. He's here somewhere. Were you set up? Yes, we were set up, you know, by um, Chloe Grace Metz and Brooklyn, Bro Brooklyn, Brooklyn Beckham. Beckham. Yeah, it's Brooklyn so who? early. Bro I, I didn't know who he was. You didn't I know? I had no idea and I was what? so lame because I'm lame. And then, His mom's a Spice Girl. I know. And she was like, his mom uh, gave me this shirt because she has like a clothing line. And I was like, that's so cool. You're the same size, like sick that she let you borrow this. <laughs> I was so dumb. And then I figured it out later because the paparazzi were chasing us. And I was like, oh, whoa, much. somebody is extra famous today. <laughs> <laughs> and it was him. It was him yeah, the whole Brooklyn. time. And yeah. I was like, oh. So are you going to bring Daryl and the babies when you're touring later? Oh, yeah. We're all going on tour. I'm so nervous. Have I... you worked out how you're going to do it yet? Because I know that you were going to speak to Pink. I went to go and see Pink, actually. Did you? I wanted to see so, her so bad. She was I was so, so tired. Good. I watched the whole thing on YouTube. It was so good. She was so um, good. But I, she takes her babies with her all yeah, the time. Yeah, I'm trying to get in contact with her team. Pink, hi. <laughs> it's me, Megan. Check your DMs. So um, we're going to sort out Pink and Metallica please. while you're here. It's not a big ask. Come on. <laughs> I, I DM'd you, and we're trying to find your team. But any tips? You look like you're having the best time, yeah. and your kids love it. And so I just want my kids to love it. They're so young. I yeah. think. Riley's gonna love it because he likes buses, so he's. I think he's really excited about the bus, the tour, tour bus. bus. You kidding? But my little baby Barry, he's gonna like learn how to walk on this tour. <gasps> so I'm also like, he's crazy. He wants to walk and he doesn't know he's how. Got a big yet. brother that he's chasing after as well, Literally, right? Literally, I'm like, sit down. That I just keep getting told by my mom who's babysitting. She's like, this one's nuts. He's <laughs> well, out of control. Because Riley was a really easy, easy baby, wasn't baby. he? Easy baby. He just sat there and smiled. She was tricked into baby. Yeah. I, it was a baby trick. Yeah. First ones. Yeah. First ones. My first, first one. I've got trick. two boys. 19, 17. First one, just a doddle. Second one, nightmare. Night <laughs> yeah. That's and you're gonna have more. Yes, I would like two more girls. I got the names and everything. Fine. We'll see if we Fine. can sort that out as well as Pink. Yes, thank pink you, and Metallica. Pink. Metallica. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Good Thanks luck with the album. Good luck with the tour when thank it happens. You. And come back and see us. Yes, I will always. That'd be fun. I love this What show. are you going to do before before you leave London? What's your one thing that you love um, doing? We're about to go do two shows back to back for all my fans who bought an album out here and made it number twelve. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. We're about to do little acoustic sets. Um, and then I'm going to bed. Good. Some sleep. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you.